Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is USMLE videos. Welcome once again to our our channel. Today we are going to discuss sensitivity and specificity. Very very important topics for USMLE. In fact, these are the fundamental blocks to understand biostatistics. If you want to watch more videos, please visit our website at www.usmlevideos.net that is www.usmlevideos.net Let me give you a few thoughts tonight about sensitivity and specificity. Imagine you have a diagnostic test and you expect it to correctly diagnose a condition. If a patient has a disease, you want that diagnostic test to identify that particular patient with the disease. And if you use the same diagnostic test on a healthy person, you want that diagnostic test to show a negative result on that particular patient. That is the ideal diagnostic test we all anticipate. But unfortunately, no diagnostic test is infallible. Every diagnostic test comes with less specificity or less sensitivity. Basically, not all times it identify people with disease as positives, and not all times it identify people who do not have disease as negatives. That's why we have devised the terms sensitivity and specificity. First of all, before talking about sensitivity and specificity, we need to understand what is a true positive or a false positive, a false negative or a true negative. These are the four terms we need to understand. For example, there is a group of people who have a particular disease and you want a diagnostic test to identify that group. And when your diagnostic test really identify a disease as positive, that is true positive because patient has the disease and your test correctly identify that patient as diseased one. That's why it is a true positive. Imagine that patient does not have the disease, but your test showed him as positive. That's automatically a false positive because patient does not have the disease, but your test showed him as positive. The same with negative. For example, a person who is healthy but your test showed him as positive, what do you say? That is a false positive because patient does not have the disease. But if the patient is healthy and your test showed him to be negative, that is the correct interpretation and that is true negative because patient does not have the disease and your diagnostic test also showed him to be negative. That is a true negative. These are the four fundamental issues we need to understand before we talk about sensitivity and specificity. Sensitivity is defined as this. It is the percentage of persons with the disease of interest who have positive test results. That is sensitivity. It is the percentage of persons with the disease who have positive test results. That means it is the percentage of people who really have the disease. In other words, a sensitive test will correctly recognize people who have the disease. In other words, a sensitive test, it correctly identifies the true positives in a group of people. 
if you correctly understand that topic, it is easy to formalize sensitivity. Sensitivity, therefore, is true positives divided by true positives plus false negatives multiplied by 100. So, sensitivity is equals to true positives divided by true positives plus false negatives multiplied by 100. Now, a sensitive test, it will help you to detect people who have the disease. So, a test with greater sensitivity will help you identify the people who have the disease. Now, let us talk about specificity. First, let us define it. Specificity is defined as the percentage of persons without disease who have negative test results. In other words, a specificity, a test that is specific, it identifies normal people as normal. It identifies normal people as negatives. In other words, it identifies true negatives. That is what specificity is all about. That is why when we formulate uh, specificity, we say specificity is equals to true negatives divided by true negatives plus false positives multiplied by 100. So, if you have a very specific test, it will rule out normal persons. In other words, if a test is very specific and if it shows positive, you can believe it because it is very, very specific. If it is negative means it is negative, the patient does not have disease. If it is positive means the patient has the disease. So, a very specific test can be used to confirm the presence of the disease. So, basically those are the main important points about sensitivity and specificity. And as always, please visit our website at uh, www.usmlevideos.net that is www.usmlevideos.net where you can browse through hundreds of videos and uh, learning thousands of most important points before you sit for USML examination. Thank you. Have a good night.